be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Definitely coming back to back with videos, okay? So what we're gonna be doing in today's video is talking about what you could do to make better chord progressions and patterns, okay? So um, let's just say that you're, we got the keyboard out here, you're playing a one, five, a one, four, five, one pattern, which was, let's say if you're doing it on the key of C, say we're doing it in minor. Gonna be this it's gonna be the C minor chord, then an F minor chord, and a G minor chord, and then going back to one. So let's say that's the chord progression that you want to use to make that sound more interesting is to do something called using inversions. And basically what inversions are is taking the root note, which is the bottom note of the chord, and moving it up an octave. Okay, so maybe instead of playing this uh this C minor chord here. What you could do is you could play it like this. And all we're doing is taking the bottom note, which is the root note, and so, like for instance, even with this four chord, and so what you could do is. Maybe you could play the co the chord regular first. Then you can switch it up. So that's just one trick you could use as far as like making better chord progressions and everything like that. Just, um, you know, invert the chords. Same thing like if you were going to go in here and draw them in, you know, say you're just coming in here and you're like, all right, I'm going to do this. All right, so cool. So say you have this chord right here. And let's spread that out some actually. So like if you're drawing your chords in, you know what I mean? You're just signing stuff out. So like maybe the first part of your measure or your, your loop is gonna go like this. And then what you'll do is it's on your second part of your loop. You can take all these bottom notes and move them up an octave. And then you can also change the way chord sounds based on like the note length. So you could use force legato to move the notes to the very end of a note of the next note that's coming up. Yeah, so you just can move the notes around here. All 
I think I messed up this chord right here, to be honest. And then if you come over here and change the actual um, sound of the instrument, you can make a chord sound better doing that as well. Uh, that's a quick tip as well, just finding like something that's dope. Then you have a, like a pretty dope pattern right here and you can come over here now and do other cool stuff like I can come over here put some different effects on it Come over here, add different stuff to the chord now, and now that's going to sound a whole lot better than what you would have put on there, just doing a basic chord progression. You know what I mean? So let's do this. I think we're just gonna go ahead and end it here. Not really trying to build the beat on this particular uh, video. Just wanted to show y'all some quick ways that y'all can make better chord patterns and better chord progressions and just do inversions and changing out the sounds and things of that nature. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.